Mikel Yefai. Now, he, he's been more sort of linked with your, your brother over the years. What, what do you think is happening there? Do you think you'll ever get hold of him? Do you think your, your brother will get a fight with him? Like, how, how do you see all of that playing out? He might even be moving up. I, d- I don't know. No chance, mate. He's got the same manager as someone in our gym, and they would never put him in with either of us. Never, not in a million years. And he knows me, and he knows this, and he might watch it. <laughs> but he knows he would never put him in. You said, man, I'm like, yo, give me a cow. Try, like, give me a cow. In the gym, you week, man. Never would they. Never would they. Shout out to second to none, though. You know, shout out to second to none. But they know that they... they you, you, you. Cow hasn't got the mentality for one of them fights. He knows he hasn't. He's one of them hot-headed, quiet, like... Uh, Gets angry, you know what I mean? especially not me. I I would riot him. I sparred him a minute, and he, well, a minute and a half, and, and he made me get out of the ring. But he told he, Rob, no, no, get someone else in. He was doing that 10 rounds. Joe Mafosa had a half a round. I had half a round. I was meant to be doing that because we were the young flyweights. He was this big, scary. I did. He, Joe Mafosa did the first minute and a half. I can remember that. I didn't remember it. Joe Mafosa did the first minute and a half. I did the second minute and a half. Expecting to do like six rounds like that. Because obviously we're now against the world champion or whatever he was at the time. And he went, no, no, Rob, get him out of there. He just runs him. And then Rob pulled, pulled me out and I went as far as someone else. But that's all right. Because he did hit me with a shot, one shot, one shot only. And it was a left hook with about two seconds going around. And from that moment, I was like, yo, he does it hard. But from that moment, I also said, yo, he would never catch me like that again. Like, well, he didn't hurt. Like, he didn't buzz, hurt me, bother me. You know, I just went, hands down, but he hit me. And I was like, okay. Like, before this, I thought that first minute and a half was easy, but yeah, a good bit of experience from that. Don't switch off, man. Yeah. That was a good fighter on the twilight of his career. Um, on the twilight of his career. Probably has another little run in him. I don't think he'll be a Bantamweight world champion. Do not think for a second. Tough division. Fight. Tough, tough division, the Bantamweight. More chance to the flyweight again, but if you can't make the weight again, then, like... But at the same time, he only mentioned Charlie's name for the first 18 months. The week that Charlie joined Frank, mm. and now all of a sudden it's Charlie went to Frank to not fight me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard something along those lines. Something along, oh well, no, no, he said, he said, oh, this is going to make the fight harder now. I think he said something like, "What? You've made the fight impossible." <laughs> it's funny though. It's funny. 